so you're a trans person, right? Correct. When did you first like have this inkling that you were trans? Like, hmm. Uh, I sort of knew something was up when I was a kid. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I always like identified more with like masculinity than femininity, but mm-hmm. like didn't toss femininity to the side really. Um, when me and my sister would be like playing with whatever, like dolls or something growing up or just like playing like playing the lion king yeah if you will yeah yeah. like i would always be the boy Mm -hmm. and she would be the girl and i don't know it's just that that funny thing of being a a tween or a teenager and um going through a tomboy phase yeah as my mom thought it would be but it wasn't a phase it was like me expressing identity right right um i knew pretty early on so when did you come out well, I came out as um, being queer at 18, 17, yeah. 18. Yeah. Well, my, I mean, my mom already knew. She oh, was, she did? Oh, yeah. I mean, she she told me, actually. She, what? <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't, like, pull me aside and was like, by the way, you're a homo. But <laughs> she, I, me and my best friend and roommate uh, came home to visit after we moved to Philly. Yeah. We weren't together when we moved. We were actually just friends. But okay. we wanted to be roommates, and then something happened, and next thing you knew, we were actually in a relationship. Sure. And I came home. We came home to visit, and uh, my mom was just grilling, grilling this person, being like, why did you break up with your boyfriend? What happened? What's going on? Is yeah, there yeah. someone new? There's always someone new. <laughs> And she's right, for the most part. There usually is someone new. Right. So there I'm sitting on the couch like, please just don't look at me. Oh, my God. And my friend kept like running away to the other room being like, stop asking me all these questions. (laughs) There's no one else. And then uh, my mom figured that she nailed it. She's like, oh, there is. I knew it. And she looked at me and she's like, there is someone else. And I'm just sitting there like... Uh huh. And then her face changed. Oh my God. And she was just like, wait a minute. I think that someone else is you, isn't it? And I was Holy like, shit. uh huh. It's me. Yeah. And then she was like, okay. I was like, well, how are you feeling? <laughs> and she was just like, I mean, I kind of always knew. And, and then she had to run away to go get cigarettes and coffee at 7-Eleven, a.k.a. Okay. AKA process by herself, <laughs> AKA process. cry in the car alone for a minute. <laughs> cry? Cry because it's like, you know, it's not easy news for every parent. So yeah. it wasn't bad news, but it was like, it's overwhelming. Yeah, for sure. Uh, especially if you kind of knew and then mm. it's like reality. Mm-hmm. So to this day, she's been nothing but supportive and uh, positive, positive about everything and yeah. That's really awesome that yeah. your mom is I super feel supportive. Super great. I mean, she wants me to dish about relationships all the time. <laughs> who, hey, who? my mom too. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm like, mom, I really don't have anyone. She's like, you must. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to hear all the hot guys. <laughs> right. Like, like all the time. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and she's good. She's like, I'll be telling her a story and she'd be like, no, really? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> New York. I grew up with the word fuck, like every other word. So uh, she's, it's funny. Yeah. 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 